Hi there, it's Louise here of Timeless Craft Mama, and today I'm sharing a scrapbook layout process video with you for the Scrapbook Boutique September 2016 mood board. And as you can see, it's this beautiful pastel, very um, birthday themed kind of mood board. I've sort of um, taken it a little bit off to the side of that, and I've gone with a cake theme. And I've titled my layout Sweet Cake Face because this is Master Z and he loves to lick the beaters. So we um, always have great photos of him with um, cake all over his face before it's even cooked. So I've decided to use the Love Always Collection by Coco Vanilla Studio because the colours are just spot on for this particular mood board. So there was some lovely pinks, um, some turquoise, some blue that I'm going to add as well and you'll see this layout start to develop. So the first thing I'm going to do is just use a spatula to spread some white gesso around on this background paper and I'm kind of going with uh, two sort of triangle themes, one in the top left and one in the bottom right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, make powder with some water and I'm going to just spread that around over the top of the white gesso and use this as background colour. So this doesn't have to be precise, this is just again about adding a touch of that blue from the mood board into this particular page. Now I set that aside to dry naturally and you can sort of see that once it's dry it has this really lovely um, shimmery, shiny, kind of beautiful um, finish to it. So if you haven't had a chance to play with the Mika powders as yet, definitely get your hands on some of them because they're great fun. What I've done now is gone through and cut out some of the little Project Life cards and chosen some of the neutral papers uh, to actually put together some clusters. And I knew I wanted to use the um, Project Life This Makes Me So Happy because that's what it does. And um, that's going to form one area of the cluster and the other part is going to be where the photo is going to be. So I'm just randomly trimming some sizes of paper here so that I can build this cluster and um, the Project Life cards are also going to form part of the cluster as well. Now the building of a cluster is a very um, unique process and every time I do it there's no two results that are going to be the same. So you know, sometimes I want a really symmetrical cluster where everything is um, even between each side of the photo and other times I'm happy just to randomly slot um, pieces of paper into you know position and staple them in place so it really does just depend on how I'm feeling at the time and even you when you're scrapping how you feel about the the direction that you're going with the project so I think uh, for me the the benefit of a cluster is that um, you you have the flexibility and the freedom to add as much interest as you like now, um, I wanted to build that cluster before I added this colour blast paste to the page because I want to know how much paste and where to apply it. So I've built that cluster and then I'm just going to apply the paste around where that cluster is going to show because really there's no point in putting paste on a page and then covering it up with cluster. So you can see that I've got this... Um, these two areas going on and um, one is sort of that title and the other one is for the photo. I've also mounted that uh, this makes me so happy onto some card on the back of it just so that it pops and lifts off the page because I knew that I was going to use those chipboard stickers um, which are also really great to get texture so um, if you haven't checked out that Coco Vanilla Studio Love Always collection, definitely have a look at it because it really is has got some great elements. Now as I'm building along here I'm noticing that with the way I've got this um, photo cluster and that top left hand cluster I, I needed something to sort of tie them together so that's where um, the little banner um, comes into play and then the um, chipboard stickers as well. So I'm just going to go through and put the final touches onto this particular page 
there's not a lot of media elements in this. I wanted to just work with lots of the papers and a couple of elements to, to give some colour in the background. Chipboard, of course, is one of those great things that you can add, and it just helps to, to give interest and um, add uh, or break up, like in this particular case, the colours that I'm using. So because I had lots of the pinks and the green, sorry, pinks and the blues and that little touch of green and lots of white and black, I think the chipboard really helps the um, page sort of come together and not be so um, busy. Yeah. So I'm taking the um, title stickers that come in the um, paper collection and I've spelt out the word cake and I'm also going to add some flowers to this page as well. Now I've gone back to an old um, Cocoa Vanilla Studio flower, um, sorry, collection and used the flowers from that just to show you that they are actually um, able to be combined so you don't have to necessarily stick to the same collection in order to create um, a, a fun layout that's, you know, got lots of um, different elements to it. So a couple of the small bitty blooms going on this page as well. I'm just going to mount um, one of the stickers in that little cluster that I've built there. Um, I've made my title as well, Sweet Cake Face, a couple of little extras, and this page is done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video from me, and I would love to see you play along with our mood board this month. Thank you so much for visiting. Please remember to check out Scrapbook Boutique for all of the products that I've used on this particular page and any of your other scrapbooking or paper craft needs. Thanks.